to let's have it out. So, Mama, you are raising the argument about um, how, you know, African women, we had these roles that were, you know, we had our roles that we, we played during um, in pre-colonial Africa. Um, women had particular roles that were, you know, cemented. And they're still having them, them, they're now, having them but they are now, suppressed right? by our so, men. So, so here's the point. The, time, the point that I'm trying to understand is that these roles that women have, on what basis do they exist? Are you saying that there are specific roles that inherently are roles that must be played by women and roles that inherently must be played by men? And how, how do we it, it engage that kind, of a, that kind of a conversation where you okay. are... In the first place, Malika, I must understand that we are not like the West where there is a promotion of individualism. Mm -hmm. That is why we don't have what is called a nuclear family. Mm -hmm. We are having a, a clan, I don't want to say extended, mm -hmm. because it's extended from nuclear, that's mm -hmm. also the Western concept. We are communal. Mm -hmm. So when we are communal, in whatever activity we are going to do, mm -hmm. the clan would sit, would sit having what we call ibunga. Mm -hmm. In English, we may call it caucus. So, so-and-so is going to do this, so-and-so is going to do this, so-and-so is going to do this. For instance, I don't want to slaughter a cow. I don't mind whether it's a man who slaughters that. I don't want to do it. Fair enough, fair enough, I hear you. And yet, you are saying that, we, you know, in, in, and, and I agree with you that, you know, African people, we've always been a people that are very communal in the way in which we do things and so on, yes. right? But I mean, I'm also very worried about the fact that you seem to make the African experience seem homogenous, right? African experience is not homogenous. Yes. And I, as a result, the makeup of the African, the idea of the African family is not a homogenous idea. Mm -hmm. What we consider as culture, for example, in for Igbo people in Nigeria, mm -hmm. what they constitute, what they consider as their culture might not necessarily be the same as what this is Zulu people. People in Zimbabwe yes. consider as culture, right? But a communal way of life is in all African communities. No, of course, the communal way of life. Yes. I, mean, I mean, even that, but even that also gets, it, it's defined very differently, right? So the communal way of life might be, you know, so African, African existence itself is not, is not devoid of the many other experiences that have informed how we define community, right? So we might not have, so in post-colonial or in, you know, so-called post-colonial Africa, how we define community, say the people of, of, of Soweto, how they define community in Zone 8 Middlelands, right? Versus how the people where you come from define community might not necessarily be the same. Yeah. We're talking of middle lands. It's, it's, it's something new now. We, 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 but, but we can't talk about we can't talk about the, the idea of feminism and the idea of the liberation of black women as if we are living in 19. That is why I'm else. saying. How do we, we how do we that, how do we locate the that is why of I'm saying today? what we need as African women. We need to sit down together, and when we sit down, we discuss the approach on how we should uh, 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 discuss our own affairs. And when we discuss our own affairs, we discuss them pre-colonial, colonial, and today, because you cannot say it's all well today. No, it's not all well at and all. And it was not well in colonial yes. either. And what I want to, to correct you again, when we, to, when we talk about a, a community, you, 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 you can read in BT, you can read even from Ghana, you can read all the African uh, uh, writers, when they talk about family, whether they say kinship or clan or whatever, mm -hmm. the context is the same. But I mean, what is this, is that, what kind of, what, what are you advocating for really fundamentally, right? Because I mean, I understand you, the importance of having an understanding of the, you know, the, 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 the etymology of where these, these problems come from, the problems that you say arise mm -hmm. as a result of, of the interruption or the disruption of colonialism. Um, and yet, even in spite of that, right, there is a reality that exists that is prevailing. And so even in our appreciation of that history, that history does, did not happen in a vacuum. Its results are not, are not expressing themselves in a vacuum. They are pertaining and persisting realities um, that um, have given rise. Let me give you an example. Let me give a... And so what do we say of the woman? So the, the woman, the post-colonial the post, the colo, the post -colonial, uh, role of the... Of, so the post-colonial woman in South Africa today versus the pre-colonial woman, that experience let, let me, let me give, a lot. Let me give you an, 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 a living example now, you know, I'm here, I'm invited by the Vets Institute for Social and Economic mm -hmm. Research. They are having a, a conference tomorrow. Now, on this conference on I, I, the, the African healing and as, 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 as science, as medical science, serious medical science, we're discussing that tomorrow and Thursday. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a diviner. But, and you find in that uh, profession of divination, there's no difference between male and female. Not at all. We, we, are, we are equal. But now you'll find that there are people who are saying they are being 
uh, 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 abused by male diviners. And now when we, we, they say that, now they must come, they must dis- come together and we discuss the profession of divination on what is it all about. Why, in fact, it's more feminine than being masculine, the profession of, of, of diviners. So let us discuss those things. That is why I'm saying, let us approach it from an African perspective. For instance, today we have got street kids. We have got what is called street kids. We have got child-headed families. I'm not saying it's all well, but we must first find it. What caused it? Let us take out the, the, the causal uh, 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 reasons, and then we say, what should we do now? I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm also part of a woman who has been oppressed because... I, I mean, even the, the, the profession I'm leading, African, uh, uh, African religion, people are saying, Mfaso Tien, who is this woman who is talking about this? And they forget that women have got a role. They've got a right to talk about okay, this. Okay, we'll take that. Let's take a call. We have Sabelo from Wheatbank on the line. Hi, Sabelo. What is your question or comment? Hello, Malaika. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Hello? Hello. We can hear you, Sabelo. You may speak. Okay, no, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I have a question here. Yeah. Um, firstly, let maybe we should thank you for your topic. Very interesting. We have been schooled a lot. Um, now, to the topic, understanding that uh, uh, feminism uh, is the establishment or establishing equality politically, economically, personally, and socially amongst the sexes or genders. Now, I want to... I want to ask uh, your panel there, uh, the panel there, um, do you think that uh, this uh, concept of feminism equally applies, uh, this equality equally applies uh, so, uh, person, personally, that is within the household, like uh, when the doors are closed, the windows are closed, should one, a woman be a feminist inside the house as well? with their husband. Now, this only applies to married women, of course. Okay, thank you very much for that question, Sabelo. Should a woman be? Should, should a woman, does, so does the, does the idea of feminism apply in the household? Uh, should a woman, so when the doors are closed and the windows are closed, should a woman continue, a married woman in particular, continue to be a feminist in her own household? Um, I mean, so let me give you an opportunity first to answer that question, Ma. That, you, you, that is why I, I said it's important to start in these three eras. Because in, in, in the pre-colonial, men used to go to hunt, so we have to work. When they come, they are tired, then we must teach food for them. But now we are hunting we, together with them. I go to work from 8 to half past 4, and we come back, we are both tired. And when we are both tired, we must discuss then where to help each other not for him to come and sit in the couch and expect me to, to work and do everything as if I did nothing. Okay. We take more of your questions and comments after the break.